Hi everyone, and today we're going to look at some um, UI um, tips, I suppose you would put it. I wouldn't. I was going to say best practice, but it's certainly not um, what I would call best practice. But it is certainly something that you perhaps should um, probably start adopting. So, why do I say this? All right, so in, the, in my case here, I'm going to be talking about PC, um, resolutions on the PC, because it demonstrates um, very easily what the issue is. Um, and I watch people when they're designing UI and they're always not getting it. Seriously, they're just not getting it. All right, hopefully... Um, we can change that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at creating a canvas and we're going to make sure that this canvas is set to scale with screen size. And then we're going to adjust the reference resolution. Now this is one area that people get wrong. Um, I'm gonna make sure that it's match on the height so that um, it's gonna go from the bottom to the height in this case, um, mainly because the screen resolution is um, landscaped. If it was portrait, then I would probably do this the other way around. All right, so the first thing we need to do is look at um, screen resolutions to what we may support as our lowest resolution. Not so much the number of pixels, but the aspect ratio itself. And in my case here, I'm going to, because I've already set all this up. Um, so if you do not have this, you can always add it. So in my case here, I'm going to look at a 1920 by 1280, and I'm pretty sure that um, 1024 by 768 may be the same, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, we can always test this out. Um, so basically the reference resolution is going to match that resolution. And then we know that anything that we design is going to be scaled based off that. So I'm going to very quickly add a, um, image uh, sorry no I'll, I'll create a empty because this is going to be our uh, let's call it safe area and i'm going to make sure that this is uh, set to this resolution so we'll again put in 12 sorry 1920 by 1280 and i'm also going to temporarily put an image onto this give it a color of it doesn't really matter but i'm going to make it red um, and give it some transparency and it's mainly because we need to basically see what our safe area is going to be so if i change the screen resolution down to um, 1280 by 1024 for instance which is a 5 by 4 resolution we can see that it doesn't work because I'm not supporting a 5.4 resolution. So devices that um, is at that resolution, it just it is just not going to work. It's just not going to. But any other resolution, say 4K, um, 1080, it's all going to start looking um, like a, like I said, a safe area, and it doesn't really matter. Even 32 by 9 aspect ratio, which is one of the largest screens you can support, you can see that the um, safe area is well and truly in the center. Okay. So how does this affect our UI? You may be asking. Okay, let's try um, putting down a couple of buttons, but let's, let's for now turn off our safe area. And let's put in, say... Uh, I'm going to create another empty, and this is going to be, um, let's say, buttons. Let's, and underneath these buttons, 
Um, actually, I'll make this panel because that's exactly what it's going to be. And this is going to hold a couple of buttons. Let's call button two, three, four, five. And we're going to, um, let's say 250 by 80. And I'm going to very quickly just change the font size on these buttons to double. But let's do that multiply by two. And then we've got double the uh, text size. So the button panel, um, I find that people tend to um, do different different things here. Um, what I'm going to do here is neither here nor there, but it's just going to be say 400 by 500, and I'm going to add a vertical layout so that the all the buttons are then outlaid, and I'm going to make sure that it's got a spacing of around 30. So 500 is probably a bit too small. It doesn't really matter if the height matches it or not, because at the end of the day, um, I'm going to be putting that onto the um, edge of the screen anyway. So 400 is probably too much. Um, we made it, say, 250. Um, let's redock that. So we can see that the buttons are on the, the far edge of the screen. Now, if we drop that down to um, our three by two resolution, it's looking good. Um, looking good. Well, we know that that's probably going to work, but um, if I do a play on that, you can see that it still looks pretty good. But let's look at something much bigger, 32 by nine. And we can suddenly see that the buttons are all the way over to the side of the screen. Now, the downside to this is that the player's vision will always be in the center of the screen. They, to, to, to basically scroll all the way over there just to highlight a few buttons is probably asking a bit much from the player. So the easiest thing to do is, as I said, to create this safe area. Now, we can then just drop this into here, and I'm going to have to redo this, okay? And the, the reason is because when it's docked, it was docked to the, the, other, to the actual canvas. Now that I've done, redone it and, re, uh, sorry, reparented, it, by doing that, I'm now saying you dock to the safe area. So as you can see, that if I run it at 32.9, it's nice and central and it's in the safe area. But there is just no gap in that safe area for the lower resolution. So you may want to um, adjust that um, at some point. So, so the button panel, you just maybe just want to pull it out a little bit. So that just wherever it is, but the concept is that it is um, showcasing a safe area. So it needs to look good on no matter what resolution you're running it on as far as supported devices go. So it doesn't, as I said, it doesn't matter what screen resolution um, I put it at, um, you're basically going to, to see it working. Um, obviously that resolution where it's in <laughs> landscape, uh, portrait is not going to work, but in, um, Landscape 1920 by 1080 um, is going to basically work. And that is pretty much it. Um, once, once you've basically got the um, safe area working, as I said, you can then just remove that component. And that's, as I said, that's it. Basically, in a nutshell, that is probably the easiest way um, to create a safe area for the PC desktop, especially when you're having to start with um, dealing with 32.9 um, screen resolution and you don't want to make the player um, look off to the side of the screen. Um, I will state that this is also what I adopt on my mobile devices uh, games as well. The reason being is it's a good habit because 
um, tablets. If you want to support tablets, the, the same thing will apply to tablets stuff as well. So you want to try and keep it centralized as much as possible. And if the mobile device's screen aspect ratio ever changes and they make a nice wide screen one, for instance, then you know that your game is going to work regardless because you followed um, best practices as far as um, designing your UI. And that is it. So if you've got any questions, just make sure you drop them in the comment section below. Till next time. Well, we've come to the end of another video and I do thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video and would like to help support the channel grow, then please do subscribe. And to get notified of new content being added, make sure to press that bell.